My people come alive Here we are, here we are Hello, good morning guys. So how are you today? Great like so. Well, um, welcome again to my vlog. This is my fifth vlog. So now here we are. Do you know where it is? So it is one of the tourism destinations in Yogyakarta. Exactly. It is Fort Verdebuk Museum or Indonesian we call it Museum Benteng Verdebuk Yogyakarta. It was a former colonial fortress located in the city of Yogyakarta. Verdebuk Fort was built in um, 1760, so it's already 257 years old, so almost three centuries, guys, so can you imagine that? Um, it was built on the order of Sri Sultan Hamengkubuwono I and the request of the Dutch government, which was then led by the Nicholas Hardy, who served as the governor of the director of the Java North Coast. The first goal of the fort development is to keep the security of the palace. However, the real intentions um, of the existence of this fort is to facilitate the supervisions of the Dutch against all activities conducted by the Yogyakarta Palace. Fredebuk Fortress Museum, which is located at zero kilometer area of Yogyakarta city, makes an appeal for tourists. This fort is surrounded by ancient buildings of Dutch relics such as Greek House and Post Office. Bank of Indonesia and Society Militaire. And therefore, Fredebuk Fortress Museum becomes tourist destinations that is unique and distinctive culture in Yogyakarta. Fredebuk Preservation as a museum is not uh, meant to glorify the colonialism symbol. The only goal is meant to get a new functions that can provide information and aspirations of the national struggles for future generations. When you are in Yogyakarta and want to have a historical tour, Fredebuk Fort could be your choice. The fact that it was built by the Netherlands army in the past gives this building uh, a western touch in the middle of local architectures. You are going to visit the classic Dutch uh, architecture building with nice park, nice pond and so many trees inside the fortress. This fort is surrounded by trenches and it also has four control towers and so that you will feel like you are in Yogyakarta in the 18th century. The building area is 2,100 square meters. With this spacious area, you will definitely have an amazing time exploring this place and taking pictures and many things you can do here. The admissions fee to enter the museum is also very cheap, with only 3,000 rupiah for each person, with the operational time from Tuesday until Sunday, at 7.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. At Monday, the fort is closed. You can explore the old Yogyakarta and how it feels uh, and how it feels like to be in an old fort, just like in a fairy tales. This museum includes collections of old photographs, historical objects and replicas. A diorama portraying Indonesia's journey for independence is also displayed in this museum. The moment of exploring uh, this museum can be very thrilling as the museum atmosphere is said to feel uh, quiet and somehow mysterious. Even some say that it can at times feel haunted. Therefore, if you plan to visit, it is highly suggested that you don't go there alone. In short, uh, you should definitely uh, visit this place because the lessons and knowledge that you will get here are invaluable and the reminiscence of the past surely will give you a thrill and the fort should be visited when you come to Yogyakarta. I think that's all for my vlog uh, today. I will see you in my next vlog and have a nice day and don't forget to visit this amazing fort in the city center. Bye! Ah, my people come alive!